Okay, I'm here with Nicole Anderson. Hi. Hi. So, um, my first question is, are there going to be a second or third season of Jonas? Hopefully. Or do you know about the second season? Um, we haven't gotten the official word yet. We'll find out in November, so keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> okay. What would you like to see happen with your character, Macy? Um, I'd love to see her friendship develop more with the boys. I feel like she has two relationships with them, almost. It's like, on one side, she sees them as Jonas the band, which she's a complete, like, crazy fan of. Right. And then the other side, she sees them as real life, Joe, Kevin, and Nick, um, and she has her friendship with those boys. So I'd like to see that side sort of progress. Cool. Um, so tell us about when you first met the Jonas Brothers. Were you nervous? I was, especially because it was also at casting. <laughs> so on top of being super nervous about getting the job, I also had to read with the Jonas Brothers, who are adorable rock stars. <laughs> so, um, but they were, they were really, really nice, and they made the experience very comfortable and um, helped out a lot. So. Tell us the story about how you got the tiny scar on your face. Oh, <laughs> um, it's on this side. You can't really see it when I have makeup on, but it was during the episode that just aired. Um, surprise, sell a surprise party. Or, yeah. And um, it was the scene where Joe and I have to hide all of the stuff as, as Chelsea's walking in, and we see that there's still the binder on the floor, so we go and dive to get the binder, and somehow we end up like flopping it up in the air and Joe hits it and it falls on my face. I don't know how it happened, but it did. So the little corner of the binder kind of scratched me. But <laughs> Recovered? Yeah, I'm, I'm totally recovered. It's an ongoing joke that Joe just beats me up all the time. <laughs> One of the first days of work, he also dropped me on my head, so <laughs> it's okay. It's our thing. <laughs> um, so you just had a birthday. I did. Happy birthday. Thank you. What was your favorite present? My favorite present? Um... Probably getting my dog back. I had to drop him off in San Diego, and I hadn't seen him for like two weeks. So my parents came up and brought my dog to me on my birthday. It's cute. Awesome, yeah. I also went out with Debbie, Ryan, and Chelsea Staub to a Somerset show, which was fun. So. Cool. Yeah. Um, have you had any embarrassing moments on set? Oh. Um, not so much embarrassing. I felt like we got really close to where I couldn't get embarrassed. But, I mean, there were funny moments like... One day I had the case of giggles, and every time the director would say action, I'd just start bursting out laughing, and I couldn't stop, and Joe and Chelsea were helping, making funny faces, and kind of, you know, encouraging my mate here, so yeah. that was, that scene took a little while to film. <laughs> um, okay, and these questions are a bit more general. Just okay. for our pop star readers, um, what's your favorite thing to do that doesn't cost any money? My favorite thing to do would probably go to the beach and read a good book. Beach. Which beach? Yeah. Do you have a favorite? Um, I love Santa Monica Beach because there are like the rings and, and whatnot that you can go and work out on. But then for like a nice relaxing day, I love going to Hermosa. Mm. Have you ever been on the roller coaster at Santa Monica? I have. Yeah. Yeah. And then on the Ferris wheel. Cool. Yeah. So I love I love Santa Monica. <laughs> uh, me too. How did you deal, or how would you deal with seeing an ex-boyfriend? Out with somebody else, somebody new. Oh, just take the higher road. <laughs> take the higher road. And, and put a smile on and make it seem as if you're doing really good, even if you aren't. <laughs> so. um, do you think that you find love or that love finds you? I think love finds you. I think if you go out and try to find love, you'll sort of trick yourself into thinking like, oh, this is it. This is totally love when it isn't. So be patient. <laughs> cool. Um, and my last question, actually. What's one thing somebody could say upon first meeting you that would really catch your attention? Um, that's a good question. Uh, probably just, like, you know, a, a good smile. They don't even have to say anything. Just come up with confidence and, and a great smile. And as they're introducing themselves, I can just see that they're very well put together.